stable, secure, affordable, window eyes. This how do I do that tutorial will demonstrate how to perform a Google search using window eyes. I am using a Windows 7 computer running window eyes 8.1 and Internet Explorer 10. To get started, let's open our web browser and navigate to the Google home page. This task can be accomplished in a number of different ways. I will use the Run dialog to complete this task because this technique will work in any version of Windows regardless of how your computer is configured. First, press Windows key and the letter R to open the Run dialog. Open a combo edit box. Run. Type in the web address of the Google home page followed by enter. W, 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 period, G, O, O, G, L, E, period, C, O, M. Desktop, HTTP, www.google.com, Windows Internet Explorer, 9. Make sure the web browser window is maximized by reading the title with Control shift t Google Windows Internet Explorer maximized. If your browser window is not maximized, you can maximize it by pressing Alt Space followed by X. Now that we have navigated to the Google home page, it is recommended that you turn off the Google Instant Search feature. Doing so will ensure a more user-friendly experience when performing Google searches with a screen reader. This task only needs to be done once because your preference will be stored by Google and remembered when you return to the website. To turn off Google Instant Search, first press Control Shift A to toggle Browse Mode on. Browse on. Please note that WindowWise 8.0 and higher automatically turns Browse Mode off when you navigate to a web page that places your initial focus in an edit box. Next, press Insert Tab to list the web page links in the page navigation dialog. Dialog 20 links. Press the letter S until the screen reader users click here to turn off Google Instant. Link is selected in the list. S. Sign in through S. Screen reader users. Click here to turn off Google Instant. One of 20. Press Enter to activate the link. Google Windows Internet Explorer. Links. 18 links. One on click one landmark. Now that we've disabled Google Instant Search, let's close the web browser by pressing Alt F4. Now that, we have, now that we have disabled Google Instant Search, let's proceed with performing a Google search. First, we need to decide what we want to search for and develop the best keyword or keywords to use for our search. Google uses a very complex algorithm to determine what web page results to display. It is helpful to know that Google favors websites that use descriptive page titles, headings, and link names. So, you should try to envision the text that will be found on the page you are looking for and use that information to develop your keyword or keywords you will use for your search. For example, let's assume we would like to find the GW Micro Webinar Archive so we can download an archived training webinar recording and the associated study guide worksheet. I would expect to find the words GW Micro Webinar Archive in the page title and at least one heading on the page. So I will use these four keywords in my search. Let's go ahead and perform the search to discover what search results Google will provide for us. Step 1. Press Windows key R to open the Run dialog. Open a combo edit box. Type in Google's home page address followed by Enter. W, 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 period, G, O, O, G, L, E, period, C, O, M. Desktop, HTTP, www.google.com, Windows Internet Explorer. Since our focus starts in the search edit box, and WindowWise already turned browse mode off automatically, we can start typing our keywords into the edit box. G, W, space, M, I, C R O space W E B I N A R space A R C H I V E and then press enter to perform the search. 21 links, 2 tables, 4 headings, 2 landmarks. 
I always silence speech and move to the top of the page whenever I navigate to a new web page. Doing so puts me in a good position to browse the page or search for information that I am looking for. If you do not silence WindowWise, you will hear WindowWise provide a summary of the page content and then it will read the first 24 lines of the web page automatically. So I already pressed Control to silence WindowWise and now I'll press Control Home to go to the top of the web page. Top. Now that Google has completed the search, we are presented with a new web page that includes headings and links for each of the Google search results. Each search result on the page is marked up with a heading. So moving by heading is a very effective way to navigate to each search result. Please note that Google will often present sponsored links and advertisements above the actual search results. Make sure you navigate past the search results heading to ensure you have reached the actual search results and skipped over any advertisements. You can navigate to the next heading on the page by pressing the letter H. You can navigate to the previous heading by pressing Shift and H. There are several other important navigation keys you can use to navigate a web page, including L for next link, T for next table, E for next edit box, B for next button, etc. For a complete listing of navigation hotkeys, please refer to the WindowWise manual or hotkey section of the WindowWise control panel. So let's navigate by heading. I will press H until I hear search results. Heading to search results. Then I'll press H again in two, until I reach the first search result. Heading 3 visited link GW Micro Webinar Training. The first search result heading is GW Micro Webinar Training. Each Google search result normally includes a heading with the web page title, a link to the web page, the web page address, and a description of the content on the web page. If you are unsure if the search result is a good suggestion, you can review these additional pieces of information to learn more about the search result. For example, if I down arrow through this search result, the description of the page should help us identify if this is the web page we are looking for. Once you verify that the search result is the one you are looking for, you will want to activate the search result link to navigate to the web page. Let's give this a try. I'll press down arrow multiple times to reach the web page description. Visited link result details but www. Visited link training. GW Micro is proud to present our online webinar training series. Links to the archived webinar recordings and worksheets can be found below. So that sounds like a very good description for the type of content we're looking for. So I'm now confident that this is the search result we want to follow. So I'll press Shift H to navigate to the previous heading on the page, which should be the heading for the first search result. Heading 3 visited link GW Micro Web Inner Training. Now press L to navigate to the next link because the link to the page is on the line below the heading. Visited link GW Micro Web Inner Training. And then I'll press enter to activate the link. 84 links to on clicks, 34 headings, 4 landmarks. Now that we have reached the new web page, I have silenced speech by pressing control and I'll move to the top of the page by pressing control home. Top. As I navigate by heading, I am moving between each major section on the page. Heading 3 you are here. Heading 3 GW Micro Web Inner Training. Heading 3 attending a web inner training. Heading 3 2013 Web Inner Archive. So as I navigate by heading, I am moving between each major section on the page and finding information related to the GW Micro Webinar Archive. This concludes the demonstration of performing a Google search with WindowWise. Thanks for checking out this How Do I Do That tutorial from GW Micro. If you have any technical questions about WindowWise, please contact our support team by email at supports at gwmicro.com or by phone 260-489-3671.